This lesson is going to be on factors. Now, a factor uh, of a number is what you are going to divide into that number that will leave no remainder. So really, when we're asked to, to find all factors of 12, we are trying to find every number that we can divide into 12 without giving us any decimal values, right? So they've got to be all whole numbers. So my steps for doing it is to find all factors is I like to find all the numbers that will actually multiply to that number. So first number that, that we try out with all of them is really one times the number itself. So one times 12 will give me 12. So these are two factors of 12, one and 12. So let's find other numbers that can multiply to 12. Other numbers that multiply to 12, 2 times 6 will give me 12. Um, and another one is 3 times 4 will give me 12. So really, as we said, to find all factors of 12, we are finding every number uh, or all the numbers that can multiply or divide into this 12, right? 12, we can divide 1 by and we'll get 12. We can divide 12 by 2 and we'll get 6. We can divide 12 by 3 or by 4 right, to give the other respective number. So these are all factors of 12. 1, 12, or let's go in order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. These are all factors of 12. Now, let's go to this uh, next question. And the question says, find all factors of 9. So as we said, right, 1 times itself, right, will give me 9. So uh, two of the factors are 1 and 9. But what else can divide evenly into 9? And the number 3 can divide evenly into 9. So 3 times 3 will give me 9. So in other words, these here are the factors oops, of their respective numbers. Sorry for the mess here. Let me uh, try to clean this up a little bit. So we've got 1 times the 9 and 3 times the 3. So these are the factors. Now, if the question says, right, find the common right, factors. And really, to find common factors, we need to find common factors of two sets of numbers, right? So find common factors of 12 and 9. So really what we're looking for are what are the numbers that are commonly divided into both 12 and 9. So we know 1 divides in both of them, right? If we look at other ones, 3 divides in both of them. So the common factors of 12 and 9 really are the numbers 1 and the number 3. So these are two common factors of the numbers 12 and 9. Now, what if the question asks for the greatest common factor, right? So the greatest common factor is what we call the GCF, right? Greatest common factor. So what we're trying to do to find the greatest common factor is of these common factors, which is the highest number, right? And the highest number is three. So the greatest common factor of 12 and nine is three. 